Are you guys ready to revisit the NES classic that upped the ante for Castlevania? From branching paths to iconic characters like Alucard, this game took the series to new heights in 1990. Let's dive into why this gem remains a favorite for Castlevania fans. Set 100 years before the original Castlevania, Dracula's Curse tells the story of Trevor Belmont, an ancestor of Simon Belmont. The game follows Trevor's quest to defeat Dracula and save Wallachia from eternal darkness. This time he's not alone. Trevor is joined by three companions, each with their own abilities, Sifa, Grant, and Alucard. The branching paths and multiple characters give the game a much deeper narrative experience compared to its predecessors. The gameplay in Dracula's Curse is both familiar and fresh. You'll still be whipping your way through hordes of monsters, but the addition of multiple characters and branching paths adds a layer of strategy. Trevor controls much like Simon, but the ability to swap between characters adds a lot of depth. Sifa, for instance, has magic. With Grant's character, you can climb, and Alucard's transformation gives you different ways to tackle levels. The jumping mechanics are still as committed as ever, once you jump, there's no turning back. And of course, the iconic sub-weapons return with the holy water, the axe, the dagger, and more adding to the game's strategy. Dracula's Curse builds on the gothic horror aesthetic that the series is known for with what I think is some of the most detailed sprite work on the NES. The environments are beautifully designed from the eerie forest to the decaying castles and the game's darker tone is reflected in its art style which is more atmospheric and foreboding than ever and despite the impressive visuals the game runs smoothly with no slowdown even when the screen is packed with enemies. I think one of the coolest things about the graphics in Castlevania 3 was probably the environmental effects like the storms and the lightning in the background. That was really cool for the NES era. Now when it comes to the game's sound, Castlevania 3 has one of the greatest soundtracks of any NES game in my opinion. Every track from beginning to Aquarius is an absolute banger. Once again, Konami delivers a legendary soundtrack that stands the test of time. The music not only fits the gothic atmosphere perfectly, but also heightens the tension and drama of the game. Even today, these tracks are just as powerful and memorable as they were when we first heard them. So who is this game for? I'd say this game is for fans of the original Castlevania who want a more challenging and varied experience. It's also perfect for those who love retro games that test your skills. If you're a fan of gothic horror, platformers, or just great 8-bit games, Castlevania 3 is a must-play, and it should be in any Nintendo fan's collection. Now, when it comes to the game's content, Dracula's Curse offers a lot of replay value thanks to its branching paths and multiple characters. There are 15 stages in total, but because of the branching paths, you won't see them all in one playthrough. Each route feels distinct, and the ability to choose your allies adds to the game's depth, which is something that was rare for games during the NES era. Most games didn't have much replay value. Now, when it comes to the game's difficulty, I think the game is tough, but fair. <laughs> Enemies hit hard, and the platforming has to be as precise as ever. However, the difficulty feels a little bit more balanced than Simon's Quest, and the game doesn't rely on cryptic puzzles to slow you down. So I think the pacing is excellent with a blend of action, exploration, and platforming. Now, when it comes to the game's emotion and charm, you know, revisiting Castlevania 3 Kind of like stepping back into a time machine, and I, I've said that before with some of these NES games, but it's true. And the game's atmosphere, challenge, artistry, they kind of evoke a deep sense of nostalgia for those who played it growing up. I think there's a certain charm in its dark, gothic world where every level feels like an adventure. 
the multiple paths and characters adds a layer of discovery that I would say keeps each playthrough feeling fresh, while the game's unforgiving difficulty ensures that every victory is earned. Talking now about the game's replay value and the branching paths and multiple playable characters, really does give Castlevania 3 a high replay value for an NES era game. With each path offering a different experience and trying out the different allies changes the way you approach the game. Whether you're looking to see all the stages or simply want to challenge yourself with different character combinations, there's plenty of reason to revisit this classic outside of nostalgia. So is this game fun? Well, despite its difficulty, Castlevania 3 is incredibly fun to play. You know, the tight controls, varied gameplay, the memorable bosses make it one of the best platformers on the NES. I think the game strikes a perfect balance between challenge and reward, making it a joy to master. Now, if you're wondering how long it takes to beat the game, a single playthrough of Castlevania 3 on your first playthrough, meaning you're probably gonna die a lot, take probably around six to eight hours depending on the path you take and again how often you die. However, seeing all of the game's content and experimenting with different characters may take a little bit longer. All right, now let's talk about the legacy of Castlevania 3. Dracula's Curse is often considered one of the best games on the NES and a high point in the Castlevania series. It set the stage for future entries by introducing multiple characters and branching paths elements that would become staples in later games. Its influence can be seen in many modern platformers, and it remains a beloved classic to this day. All right, guys, now time to give you my final thoughts. Castlevania III Dracula's Curse is a masterpiece of 8-bit gaming. It takes everything that made the original Castlevania great and builds on it, adding depth, variety, and challenge. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the series, this game is a must play. It's a shining example of what made the NES era so special, and it still holds up as one of the best games in the Castlevania series. Thanks, guys, for watching my review of Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. This game is a true classic that paved the way for so many great titles in the series. If you enjoyed revisiting Dracula's Curse with me, Please drop a like, leave a comment with your favorite memories, and consider subscribing to Thunderstash Gaming for more retro gaming content. And remember, never tool to play video games.